from the Savoy Ballroom, Hyatt on Collins, Melbourne, the 29th TV Week Logie Awards 87. Ladies and gentlemen, your host for the evening, Don Lane. Faces. Good evening. Hello. Thank you very, very much, Roy. Thank you very much. What a lovely greeting. Hi, and welcome. This is the 29th Annual TV Week Logie Awards. And thank you very much for joining us on what is the night of nights for those of us in the television industry. Those of us still in the television industry. <laughs> what a business, eh? <laughs> One day you're in Channel 7 driving a bargain, and the next day you're in Russell Street driving a taxi. I got plenty of time. These things always run over. <laughs> Thankfully, TV Week created these awards and have nurtured and cultivated them to this point today, where they are singularly this country's most prized and watched awards program. The Logie Awards are very special to all of us gathered here. It's a great celebration where we recognize and honor some of television's greatest and most convincing performances. You'll see many of those later tonight from The Losers. Yeah. Tonight, tonight you'll meet the stars, the characters, and the personalities of television, and you'll also notice that, that there are some of television's decision makers here, the big guys, the movers and shakers, like Rupert Murdoch, who recently sold Australia and bought America. Yeah, don't, no, Rupert also sold the channel I work for, so Westfield. <laughs> Now I do my television show from a meat locker in a shopping center. It's a warm, <laughs> wonderful experience. I'm... You'll recognize Kerry Packer, who happily was just completely exonerated by the Attorney General. And uh, sure, he gets exonerated, but Channel 9 was put on a bond. Uh, by the way, we were expecting Treasurer Paul Keating tonight, but unfortunately he's in hospital. He's having a humility bypass operation, and uh, we hope it all works out finally. But, uh, <laughs> but there are other names you'll recognize. Uh, the ABC's David Hill. Channel 10's Bill McKenzie. From Channel 9, Sam Chisholm. Uh, <laughs> that should be Chisholm. Uh, no, I work for him. Chisholm's fine. Uh, <laughs> Daryl Summers just said, I wouldn't say that. I don't have a this evening's telecast comes to you from this fabulous hotel in Melbourne, the Hyatt on Collins Street. This would have to be the country's most opulent pleasure palace, the ultimate in luxury. After you spend one week in this place, you'll watch Dynasty just to see how the poor people live. It's really <laughs> wonderful here. These awards are in two categories, those selected by TV Week and a panel of selected experts, and those judged by the real experts, the bottom line, where the buck stops, the TV viewers and the readers of TV Week. Tonight, among other things, we'll be reading out nominations for Logies for some superbly produced movies for television, some of which have made an enormous impact overseas. Productions like The Challenge with Lorraine Bailey and John Wood, Sword of Honor that's kicked off big things for Andrew Clark, and The Last Frontier with Jack Thompson and Linda Evans steaming up our screens. And already this year, there's more. We've enjoyed A Far Country with Paul Cronin and Linda Lavin the riveting series Vietnam, and what about a place to call home? And there's more to come. New mini blockbusters to arrive on the scene. A movie-length uh, version of the popular series Neighbors, only this one stars Bruce Ruxton and Bishop Desmond Tutu. <laughs> a mini-series entitled The Birth of Australia, in which Ricky May plays Tasmania. and a remake of the Hitchcock classic, Dial M for Murder, starring Andrew Peacock and Jeff Kennett. Uh, <laughs> the technical advisor on that one is Dr. Jeffrey Edelston. Anyway, uh, ooh, ooh, yeah, sure. Like you never said it yourself, right? Yeah, it's good. I thought he was driving the car when he hit the tree. Um, Mr. 
This, then, is a night of winners. Not just for those fortunate enough to have won an award, but a winning night for all of us here who thrive, working in an industry imbued with uncertainty, adventure, advanced technology, challenge, innovative and sensitive ideas and projects. It's a winning night from the staffs who sell the airtime to the workers on the floor through the entire spectrum to the management on top. It's a winning night for those of us who dare to take the chance, defy the odds, and scoff at vulnerability as we stand and perform in front of the cameras and become fair game for all to watch, enjoy, review, compliment, criticize, and slam. And mostly it's a winner because we're all here tonight together at the very summit of a hazardous but terribly rewarding profession. Enjoy it, ladies and gentlemen, because we are television. Here. Frankly, I feel right at home. Here is where the excitement is. This is champagne with all the fizz. Ecstatic, I could yell, I could dance about. To be emphatic, I could shout, 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 shout it all about. Gee, but it's good to be here. I feel right home. It's my considered opinion that the place to be is the place I'm at. I couldn't be more sincere. Gee, but it's good to be here. It's good to be here. We feel right at home. my considered opinion that the place to be is the place we're at and i couldn't be more sincere 